The next two weeks, we're going to talk about the digestive system. Um, you know the digestive system digests food. That means breaks down food, and then we're going to absorb it. So the digestive system doesn't just digest, it also absorbs. It also allows for movement. Um, it's going to be other things we talk about as well. But the main goal, right, what really matters is actually the absorption. That's obtaining nutrients, um, glucose, fats, amino acids, and having them go from the lumen of this tube that goes through our body and go into the bloodstream. And that allows our body then to function. So obviously integrates with other organ systems, the circulatory system, every organ system that needs to have glucose um, regulated by endocrine and neural system. Um, and ultimately we're gonna to get to the kidneys, the urinary system last. We're gonna have um, eventually the excess fluid be regulated partially through the urinary system, et cetera. So this week, we're gonna start with an overview, identifying the organs and the overview of the processes. Then we're going to start with the oral cavity and walk through the stomach. Next week, we'll start with the small intestine and go through the large intestine. And we've got some other things to wrap up then. So this video, I wanna start with labeling some of these organs. First of all, I want you to think of the digestive system as largely being one tube. Um, the digestive tract, it's a tract, right? A tube. Same thing as the gastrointestinal tract or system, gastro GI system, GI tract. Same thing as the elementary canal. These are all words that indicate the giant tube. This is referring to the tube portions. So part of the oral cavity, which includes our mouth, that's where we're gonna start. Ingestion occurs there. There's some other structures in here. Um, I'll come back to, I just wanna do the tubes. We're going to have our pharynx. Again, that's a tube esophagus. This whole time to these tubes, we are actually considered outside of the body. This is lined with epithelial tissue, which lines outside the bodies. Until that stuff gets absorbed by our cells, it's still outside of the body. We continue that tube down to the stomach. Our tube changes shape. Small intestine is like 20 feet, it's crazy. And then the junction here, here's beginning of the large intestine, which ends with the rectum. And then I will just label the anal canal as the final place where defecation happens. So this, labeled in black here, is all the digestive tract. It's, it's tube, food's gonna travel down in that order I just went through. As the food travels through, it becomes changed, digest, digested, the name for it's going to change. And um, we're gonna start to absorb it as well. Okay, and although we'll talk more about this tube, but it's basically muscular along the whole way along with the epithelial, and that's gonna be important for movement. We've gotta get food to move down this whole thing. So some other features of this whole tube and the similarities but and, and differences, but mostly similarities between these different parts of the tube will be important. Then we've got accessory organs. So you can see some other things that are in this picture. These are salivary glands, produce saliva that will be important for digestion some other tongue and teeth I'll come back to. Um, actually, I'll just, just label them here. Teeth are gonna be important for um, mechanical breakdown. Okay. Uh, liver is this big one right here. 
with the gallbladder right next to it. And, and you know these, right? Because we've, we've done this anatomy in the rat. Here's our pancreas. Liver, pancreas are the two accessory um, organs that we will spend the most time on. The, the enzymes and other substances produced from these two organs, super important for digestion. So these are, these are something I can't spell, accessory organs meaning not part of that elementary canal, but still super important for digestion. We'll also briefly mention the pancreas again in terms of the hormones that regulate blood sugar.